वेलकम बैक लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड हाउ वी कैन डिबग म्यूल अप्लीकेशन एंड आलो अडवांटेजस् आफ डिबिंग ई एम गोयिंग टू यूज सेम रिस सर्विस दट वी डेवलप्ड इन एर्लियर सेशन दट वी हेव वन लागर हियर लेट मी चेंज दिस टू लागर वन एंड आलो let me add couple of more loggers here and here say logger 2 say this one logger 3 and say this one as logger 4 save all so up to previous session we have been right clicking and choosing run project allo mule api but we can also make use of debugging projects to understand how each connector was executing this will help us a lot while doing the development to do unit testing connector by connector so we should understand about keeping breakpoint the advantages of keeping breakpoint is when we deploy this application in debugging mode and we make the request the execution will come to this breakpoint and stops the execution here for now i placed breakpoint at very first connector let me right click and say debug project hello api while deployment it shows a pop up to switch the perspective say yes now the studio will be changed to the debugging mode so here we have two icons if you would like to change back to design mode you can click on this and again if you would like to switch back to debugging mode you can click on this debug icon the application has deployed let's go and make the request request came and we see the execution has stopped over here so let me clear the console and we do not have anything on the console if i would like to see how this processor or connector is going to execute so on top right here we have several icons and we see a curved arrow here that is next processor either you can use f6 on your keyboard or you can simply click on this so the execution has completed this connector execution and came to the next connector we can see the connector has printed logger 1 if i say next again we can see it printed logger 2 if i say next again it printed logger 3 and if we look at response until we process the request or process completely this will be still in waiting state so let me say next we can see this icons have disabled and also the last connector execution has printed logger 4 that means whenever the last connector in the flow executes the response will be sent back to the client now let me show about another option in debugging let me make one more request and the request came here and stopped the execution if we say next it will execute this connector and goes to the next connector so after checking this connector execution you do not want to check remaining connectors execution simply you can click on this button resume or you can use f8 on the keyboard click on this it will finish the execution now we can see the response and the process has completed the execution sometimes 
we would like to see one connector execution in one place and another connector execution in another place. So simply we can add another breakpoint on that connector and let's see how we can navigate over the flow connectors. So it came and stopped at first breakpoint. If I say resume it has executed the following connectors and came to the next breakpoint. If I say next, it came to the next connector. I can either say next or resume to finish the execution. In debugging, we also have another features. If we look at here, we have a expression builder. So this expression builder will help us a lot to evaluate the data view expressions while the process is in execution. If I say about this now you may get confused but from next session onwards in each session we will run applications in debugging mode and we will play around this debug expression. That's all about this session. We'll see you in next session. Thank you. Happy learning.